Okay, so this problem says if a linear alkane has 12 carbons, how many hydrogen atoms will it have? So first of all, we know that it's a linear alkane. If you're able to have a, a formula sheet, you can write on the formula sheet that for a linear alkane, it has the formula of CX H 2X plus two. So that means for however many carbons that you have, you have two times that plus two more of hydrogens. So using this formula, if we have 12 carbons, that means it is C with a subscript of 12. In the formula that tells me that my X is equal to 12. So I can plug in that value of X into my subscript of hydrogens to get two times 12 plus two um, is, would be my number of hydrogens. So simplifying that two times 12 is 24 plus two more is 26. So the answer would be that we would have 26 hydrogens. But this, this method is only really helpful if you are good at either memorizing formulas or you're able to have a formula sheet um, available to you. If um, that is not the case, and if you would rather not do a formula um, type of solution, then you can do it in a different way. A linear alkane means you have a more of a conceptual way. So if you have a linear alkane, conceptually, that means that you have um, carbons just in a line that are bonded to each other. If we have 12 carbons, we'll have 12 carbons in a line. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, <clears throat> excuse me, 11, and 12. Almost don't have room here. Let me actually, let me see if I can move this over. Move this over too. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I'll just delete it. Okay. So once you draw, so we already, we said that the number of hydrogens is equal to 26 was what we found out before. So once we draw our linear alkane, um, our carbons in a straight line, what we need to do to figure out the number of hydrogens is around every carbon, every carbon should have four total bonds. So this carbon on the end has one bond so far, so it needs three more to make four total around it. This next carbon has two bonds next to it so far, so it needs two more. And continuing along down the line, this one would need two more, 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 and on and on until we get to the very end. And this carbon at the very end, since it only has one bond, it will need three more to make a total of four. Okay, and we can assume that the only um, atoms that are bonded to the carbons are all hydrogens. So I'll put a hydrogen at the end of every, or I could put a hydrogen at the end of every single bond, but that would take a while. So I'll just assume that at the end of every bond is a hydrogen. So let's go around and count how many hydrogens we have. We would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. So as we got by using the formula, we got 26 hydrogens and also writing it out um, in, a, in a structural kind of method, we also get 26 hydrogens. So in a linear alkane um, that has 12 carbons, how many hydrogen atoms would it have? It would have 26 hydrogen atoms. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any questions and I'll do a video for you if I have time.